the truth. We all seek it, but in today's world of disinformation, where can we get it from? Certainly not the government, <laughs> and definitely not from the lame stream media. But if you're watching this now, then that means that you've taken the key of curiosity, you've inserted it into the lock of hope, turned it 360 degrees or 180 degrees if you have a three lever mortis sash lock, and you've opened the door to the home of truth. So welcome, brothers and sisters. Well, welcome mainly brothers because we've been looking at the YouTube analytics and it turns out 98.5% of our viewers are male. But still, welcome truth seekers, regardless of your body type. I'm your host, Gareth Badger, and this is another episode of The Badger Files. So, what have we got coming up for you today? Well, after last week's episode, where we discussed the terrifying revelation from the Truth Purveyor 00523691 Twitter account that there are interdimensional beings living inside the head of former football manager Joe Royal, we asked the question, when will English football finally admit it has a problem harbouring fugitives from dimension C3659Y? As well as that, we'll also be discussing Barack Obama's involvement in the 1963 assassination of JFK. We'll be discussing life under a legal lockdown and dealing with the suppression of truth with good friend of the show, Eamon Holmes. And finally, Bill Gates, chief architect of the pandemic, or unwitting pawn of Holmes under the hammer star, Martin Roberts. <laughs> Wait until you hear the evidence. But we're going to start today by discussing something that, yes, we have talked about a lot, but we need to keep hammering the point home. The liberal, global elite, ultra-aggressive disinformation campaign about the so-called coronavirus and 5G. Now, it started seemingly innocently enough. Our truth warrior brother Jed, and I know a lot of viewers are friends with Jed, myself included, well, he was roundly mocked for carrying a placard that appeared to say, I am a free, not man, a number. Even though it clearly didn't. It's just how it was written. Now, if you know Jed like I know Jed, then you know that's how he writes. A bit cockeyed. However, this mockery was deliberate. It was calculated. And it's a standard lamestream media tactic. Undermine and obfuscate. And the mockery then spreads to social media. And the main point that we are being fed lies about the so-called virus, while 5G is allowed to pollute the air, infect our brains, make our kittens walk backwards. And believe me, there's a lot of evidence to back that up, despite what the British Veterinary Association have told me. And the point that all this paves the way for mandatory vaccinations is lost. So yes, these liberals may be laughing now, but when they find themselves choking on the phallus of the new world order as it's rammed down their supine throats, then they will realise that, Mum! Well, I'm doing a video! What? Well, I, I, I don't know, um, spaghetti hoops. I, no, no, actually, no, um, can I have those beans with the little sausages in? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right, yeah, can can you go? I am, I'm doing a video. Oh, actually, no, before you go, uh, can I get a lift tonight? Yeah, well, it's Tuesday, isn't it? It's my discussion group, you know, the lizard people in the top echelons of the French Secret Service discussion. It's, 
yeah, it's tonight. Yeah, I'm, I need to be there early because I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoint, you know, it's with the, the slides. Anyway, look, will you just, will you just go? I am doing a video. Thank you. Oh, actually, no, before you do go, can I have a brew if you're having one, please? Yeah, and two digestives. Thank you. Oh, and please, 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 will you put it in my chemtrails kill Epstein mug this time, please? Thank you. Yeah, right. Now, go, go. I suppose we can't go through an entire episode without mentioning Dominic Cummings. Now, I'd normally support anyone who breaks the illegal lockdown and fights against the theft of our liberties. However, we have reason to believe here at the Badger Files that Dominic Cummings is actually part of a nationwide conspiracy to introduce liberal Satanism through the bizarre combination of song and impregnation. And clearly, the powers that be are mocking us because they've hidden a message about this in plain sight. And, and, and it just it just kills me. I, I, I talk about this a lot, but it just kills me that the sheeple cannot see the truth. I mean, it's so obvious. Dominic Cummings. D-O-M-I-N-I-C-C-U-M-M-I-N-G-S. His name is an anagram. Demonic sings come. I mean, yes, you, you know, you have to take the E out of demonic and replace it with an I and there's a spare M. However, it could not be clearer. The man is a demon. He used his demonic powers to cure himself of blindness and then he drove to the Hellmouth, which, as we've discussed in several episodes, is located at Barnard Castle. And he's now going to promote, using those same powers, his satanic New World Order agenda. And he'll impose this by using the powers of Song and his devilish seed. Well, I promise you this now, okay? That we will fight this. We are not going to sit back and allow this evil to take over. And you, you have my word. OK, you have my word that this will be stopped. We will fight back. And now a word from our sponsor. Me. If, like me, you're human, and believe me, that is not always a given on this planet, then you'll find yourself getting thirsty from time to time. So what's the answer? Glass of water from the tap, perhaps. Absolutely not. You may not realise it, but for years now the government have been systematically poisoning our water supplies. Since 1978, they've been adding chemicals that are designed to wither and shrink away our genitalia. And why? Because they want to create a liberal, genderless society of hermaphrodites, with the end game being to render gender obsolete by the year 2034, which will then pave the way for a sexless new world order. So what can we, those of us who are clinging on to our genitals, do about it? I decided to email my local MP and she had this to say. Stop harassing me. I will get the police involved if this continues. So I was having no joy there. Instead, I took matters into my own hands. With help from users on the message board Blue Pill Red Pill, and with special thanks to user Satanic Pedo Ring Destroyer 55, I've been investigating this brazen attack on our sex organs. And now, I've written a book about it. Tiny Tinkles from the Tap, The War on Testosterone and Oestrogen. Endorsed by no less than David Ike. Well, it's not in the book about him endorsing it, but he did like a tweet advertising the book, which he then unliked a couple of minutes later. But we all know that's because he was coerced by shadowy forces. The same shadowy forces that are currently restricting the number of sales of this book on Amazon 
to zero, which just shows how desperate they are to suppress the truth. Well, no more. Because you can now buy a copy of this exclusively on my website, www.badgergareth.com. I did try to get GarethBadger.com, but it turns out there's someone else with the same name as me living in Arizona in the USA. Nice bloke, actually. He, um, he actually buys and sells wrestling memorabilia. I did speak to him about buying the domain name for the website, but he wasn't having any. Unless I bought a sock that was worn by Macho Man Randy Savage at WrestleMania 1989, but he was asking for like two grand, so uh, badgergareth.com it is. And if you buy a copy today, you'll also receive a free signed photograph taken by the Manchester Evening News of me being dragged out to Greg's in Ashton Underline from a one-man protest against vegan sausage rolls and the microchips that they've been inserting into the little corn chunks inside. So please, buy a copy today. Your genitals and your family's genitals may depend on it. Still fancy that glass of water? No, thought not. Now, it's that time of the week again where we answer viewers' emails. And we've had so many come through since last week that I've not had time to go through them yet. So let's see what we've got. Right then, this one is from someone called, oh well, um, Anonymous. Uh, you know, and I, uh, I fully approve of you hiding your identity. Respect from the Badger. And it says, are you a virgin? Uh, obviously, that is spam. We, uh, we, 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 we get a lot of that. Uh, spam, that is. Not emails saying that I'm a... Anyway, um, <clears throat> okay, next one. Have you ever seen a woman's vagina? Okay, okay. <laughs> obviously, that's uh, more spam. We need better filters. Uh, okay, so, no, I'm not reading that one. I'm definitely not reading that one. Um, not that one. Okay, okay, here's one, uh, and ah, it's from someone from the UFO spotting group that I run, and it's another anonymous one, which is intriguing, but it says, let's see, Gareth, I've long admired and respected you, <laughs> thank you, but I'm troubled by your actions regarding the appointment of the group's new secretary. Helen's only been with the group a few weeks. Yet you've elevated her to a position of power ahead of other, more established members. Could the fact we keep catching you trying to smell her hair have anything to, to do with it? Um, <clears throat> I respect Helen, okay? She's a truth warrior. And, and yes, her, her, her hair does smell nice. I, I think that's the Pantene Pro V repair protect that she's been using and I, I like what she's doing with the hearing aids at the moment but our relationship is purely professional she's an extremely competent secretary for the group and and you know what i know what i i will not stand for this fake news and seeing as there's only six of us in the group i know this is you marcus so you better watch your back okay and that's not a threat it's a promise. And remember, if you have any questions for next week's show, you can email us, as always, at badbadgerboygareth at aol.com. So that's it for this week's show. I'd like to thank everyone who's contributed. I'd like to thank everyone who's emailed in, except you, Marcus. But most of all, I'd like to thank you, Truth Seeker, for watching, listening, learning, and being part of the fight back against the new world order. I'm Gareth Badger, and we don't deal in conspiracy theories here. We just deal in truth. The true truth. This has been The Badger Files. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. We done? You're done? Yeah? Okay, good. We've got to sort those emails out. Yeah, yeah, we've got to, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Well, apart from that, it went well, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that? Tonight? No, I can't. I've got to go to the doctors, yeah.
yeah, my hemorrhoid cream's ready, so yeah, I'm gonna get that. Uh, it's still rolling. What? Oh, for God's sake.